Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a video on drugstore makeup. I thought I'd show you how I put this makeup on using drugstore makeup and uh, just to show you how it wears throughout the day and at the end of the video I'll film um, how it looks at the end of the day. No touch-ups, only the lipsticks. I won't touch any of the makeup up and we'll look together on camera. Um, so I'll be about, I, I don't know, about 10 hours from now um, and I'll show you the end result. So this is today's makeup. This is how it looks. So it's all drugstore makeup and I'll tell you each one that I use. Um, I won't list all the products below because I'll just hold them up. But if you want to know of any of the products, just let me know. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at the end. Bye. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm using. These are all drugstore makeup, okay? So the Olay Regenerist Revitalizing Hydrating Cream in SPF 15, which is this one here. I'm going to use that one. Um, I'm going to hold them all up and show you. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in Ivory, Rose Ivory uh, Foundation. So it's that one there. For the eyebrows, I've got Ox Studio. These are all so cheap from Kmart, those things there. Some blusher, I'm going to use some e.l.f. One of those. I'm going to use um, the L'Oreal uh, Volume Million Lashes. And I'm going to use a Maybelline, it's 137 lipstick, which will be this colour here. And I'm going to use the eye palette, it's going to be Revlon Eyes, Cheeks and Lips. And it's going to be one of those, I've used it for a while now, or I've had it for a while. And also just a little bit of um, shimmer, I'm just going to use the top one there from Rimmel. And lip pencil from Australis and a blue eyeliner from Australis as well. And I haven't got any eyelid primer, so I'm going to actually just put on the foundation on my eyelids. So the whole thing is, we see how this makeup lasts throughout the day, and I'll, I'll compare it at the end of the day. So I'll do, it's, it's now 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'll film this probably 5 or 6 tonight. And we'll see how the makeup fares. I know I'll be retouching the lipstick, but that's about it. Okay, so let's get on with it. I um, hope you can see all right in this light here. It's a bit early in the morning. So I thought, yeah, I've got these a go. I normally use all my other stuff. I've got Tarte makeup, I've got um, MAC, uh, Urban Decay, you know, quite a whole heap of those things. So I use all them as well. But I just wanted to see how these fare up. Now, I will tell you that you'll probably see that I've got some peach fuzz around here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to shave my face. So I'm not going to do that yet. So if you do see that, anyway, I'd love to give it a go, but I'm just... I just don't know if it grows back all stubbly or, or how it would be. So I'm a bit nervous about that. Anyway, let's make a start. I'm going to, with the um, foundation, I'm going to apply it with my makeup brush, my, my MAC brush. I'm just going to put some on. It comes out very, very liquidy. So it's a little bit, the consistency is a bit too runny. It actually feels quite light on as well to wear. I did forget to show you this one as well. This is another Ox finishing powder. These were so cheap, Cater and some fine dust. It's not your Laura Mercia, which I do need to get yet, but it's a little bit of dusting powder. But I'm actually gonna put a little bit on my eyelids just to set that foundation on the brush and just, so that is very, very, it does have a lot of fallout of this powder, so be careful there. And sort of get rid of a bit of the discoloration there. Eyebrows, I'm gonna use, I talked about my lovely hourglass one the other day, I'm using. I'm not using it today because I'm going to use this little Ox Studio one with my little angle brush. I'll just give my lips a little bit of a pump of some. I'm going to use my Nivea. I'm just going to coat my lips just to give them a bit of moisture. I always use that. I use it at night a lot too. That's that Nivea pearlized one. Love that one. Okay, so I'm going to use the Rimmel now. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, shimmer up the top of my eyelids there. This one doesn't have much fallout. It's pretty good. All right, so with the eye socket, because I've got the hooded eye on, oh, which side is it now? This side? I'm just going to sort of accentuate a hollow, I'm going to sort of carve out a hollow bit by using a darker colour there. So I'm going to go in that one there. Again, I'll need to 
Shut that off. I'm going to go quite high up onto the eye, eyebrow just to really lift up the eye. I think because it's the, it doesn't apply as easy as your high-end makeup because of the quality of it, you have to kind of keep going in with it. You don't get that um, texture of eyeshadow. But I'm interested to see how well it stays on. Some purple eyelids. <laughs> okay, see how much comes off. Better to do small amounts first, like we all say. Less is better. Didn't show up too much, but I'll go back in and do a little bit more in a sec. And I'm just going to go just on the outer corner. I'm just going to go in that slightly darker colour there. I'm going to just go underneath with the angle brush a little bit under the eyelid. My lash curler. They're sort of curled. I don't know if you can see it curled a little bit anyway. We'll try it. <laughs> There's a big gap in the in the applicator, so if you've got big thick eyelashes, you could have plenty of room. So I'll see. Oh, well, that curled quite nice. I'll zoom, I'll zoom in a bit closer there. Okay, let's coat them with some liner, like mascara. This is that original one. It's got a nice um, spoolie with that one. Let's see how that comes up. It's not bad, it's, um, actually I don't even know if it's waterproof, I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look in a sec. I brought it ages ago so I can't remember because I've used um, a different mascara. Sorry, you can't see, can you? I might recurl them at the end so once they're dry, just really lift them up. Oh, it goes on quite nice, it's actually pretty good. So oh, nice. I'm telling you if it's waterproof or not. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It doesn't say waterproof. No. It's just extra black. Okay, let's have a look now. This is how we're looking so far. Now with the blusher, I'm going to apply it with my fingers. This is your little elf. And I'm just going to go in with that one there because I like that one. Um, see, there's already a bit of fallout coming out on the makeup there. I'll have to touch that up. I'm just going to go a little bit just here. Then I'm going to just bring it up. Oh. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's any other fallout. It's not looking too bad. I need to go, go back in and do the um, eyeshadow because that's not that's sort of transferred above the eyelid there. I'll go back in and do that. It's quite nice, isn't it, those colours? <clears throat> now, I did start to do a bit of eyeliner, so I'll just use this one, the little Australia. It's a tiny little blue one that I've got there. I'll have to look down for this one. <laughs> I doubt if this one will stay on. Let's see. Lips. Actually, I'll, I'll just dust my lips with that little powder and then I can apply the lipstick a bit better. I said with the fallout, is <laughs> very, very. Now, the problem is because I've got the peach fuzz, that's definitely going to accentuate it, so I need to just wipe some of that off, I think. And lips, lip liner. 
Let's go closer so you can see the colour. This is quite a bright colour, but I thought, well, we'll see how this lasts. This won't last, but I'll, I'll read it at the end of the day. Now, I think I might just add a little bit of, a bit more of that rimmel just on my cheekbones, just to um, give a bit of sparkle. Now, I've got quite a bit of fallout. I'll go on a bit close and I'll show you the fallout from that eyeshadow. There you go. Can you see it all around here? In my mirror too. Yeah, all around there. See? So that's the problem with that. I did tap the brush, but there's still quite a bit of fallout. So I need to go in and clean that up. What I'll do is I'll just go and a tiny bit more of the foundation and just clean that up a little bit there. Well, I'll have to go into my fine lines now. Like I said, this like this foundation is quite lightweight, so it really doesn't feel like I've caked myself in with foundation. I'm just being careful around those fine lines. It smells nice too. <laughs> smells makeupy. Oh, well, that's sort of fixed it up anyway. But you can see how that's sitting into my pores. Um, if, if I go really close and hold still, can you see how it's going in? the pores a little bit right we'll just recurl my eyelashes and then that will be done they're almost dry but if I try and add a little tiny bit more mascara to separate them a tiny weeny bit more yeah it's hardly putting any on in fact I'm probably just separate them more than putting mascara on yeah. Okay. That's the makeup. I'm just going close. Looks pretty, doesn't it? I just hope it stays on. It it looks like it'll last for a while. And that's that side. Okay. All right. I'll get back to you this afternoon, and we'll see how this looks. Right. I'm back again. It's it's now ten past five. It was seven o'clock this morning when I put this makeup on. So now we will have a look together. All I've done is just put some lipstick on. So I'll get the mirror, and we'll have a look together and see how the makeup stayed on. Okay. Let's have a look. All right. Um. Okay. There it is. I don't think I want to look like that. Okay. There it is. It's from seven o'clock this morning. That has pretty pretty much stayed on all day. And the blusher has worn off. No surprise there, because I had a mask on quite a bit today. Um, the makeup completely um, has, has stayed on. The mascara's not um, sort of faded into itself, so that's really good. Um, overall, yeah, the hooded eye, which was the hooded eye, this side, isn't it? Um, I've still got the, the depth there for the hooded eye just so it shows that it doesn't sort of recede into my um, uh, eye, belt, eye, eye socket. So that's actually done well. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Quite impressed. I would have thought that would have come off a little bit more. So there you go. That's from seven o'clock in the morning. And I completely have not touched this up at all. I've been out at work all day. Even I've still even got this little bit of um, sparkle on there, you know, the highlighted bit there. Um, that's actually really good. And the foundation doesn't look too bad either. So there you go. Sometimes a cheap makeup actually does work. And I've surprised myself as well. Anyway, on that note, I really must go. I've got to get some dinner. So thanks for watching my video. I'm sorry if it was a bit long. And um, if you are interested in my type of video, please subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, otherwise there are a few different themes going on, like I said, like with the whippets and thrifting and hair and hair and makeup. So you know, if you like any of that sort of stuff, just subscribe and then you can just watch what you want to watch. All right, well, thanks again, everyone. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.